Hello YouTube, welcome to your first Java tutorial. Uh, now, in this tutorial, I'm simply going to be showing you how to set up Java and how to set up the Java compiler. So, first things first, before we dive into any programming or typing up our programs, we're going to need to download a couple of things. Well, one thing at the moment. So, just open up your browser, um, head to Google, no, and then you're going to want to type in Java JDK. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. Then the first link that you see, Java SE Downloads, Java Standard Edition Downloads, and then you'll be on the Oracle website. The links will be in the description, so don't need to worry. And then just scroll down, and you see Java SE, Java Standard Edition 6, Update 26. Uh, just hit download under the JDK. We don't we don't need the JRE at the moment. And now you're on the downloads page. Just hit accept on the license agreement. And as you can see, there are many options for every possible operating system you might have. I have Windows 64-bit, so I would click this, and then you're going to want to save that. Um, application. It's a it's a Windows installer file, so I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna download it now because I already have it. But when you do, it's it's gonna be a typical download. You just open it up, hit next, accept, accept, next, how many times you need to until it's installed. <clears throat> okay, now the JDK is downloaded. We need to set up um, a path variable. Uh, so your computer knows where to look for the Java compiler. So the first thing you do, open up a uh, computer and then local disk C and program files Java and now JDK, uh, you should see the JDK that you have enter, I mean double click and then bin. Now that you're in the bin um, you're going to want to come up to the address bar here and then right click and hit copy address as text once you've done that you're going to want to go to right click on my computer hit properties then advanced system settings environment variables and now you're going to need to create a variable I'm going to just delete that because uh, that's when I created to show you how and you're going to press new and you're going to type path and as the value you simply paste that um, uh, location of your the bin of your Java JDK and then hit OK and OK OK X out of that and close that and then now now you have that installed we're ready to write our first bit of java programming now we'll open it open up any text editor that you prefer i'm going to use notepad plus plus now just copy as i type you don't need to know what any of this stuff means yet you don't need to know what's happening just copy as i type this is this is basically a test to see if you've set up the java development kit correctly so Let's begin. Um, public class Java test. It can be named the Java test can be named anything you like, really, but that name seems appropriate. And then public static void main string args, and then System dot out dot print line, and then the typical programmer's welcome, hello world exclamation mark. Now just take a minute there to check that you've copied it as I have, and then you're going to want to hit save, and then just save it to your desktop, nice and easy, and then in this box down here you're going to want to find Java Java source file and now you can save this as 
it, it this the name of the Java file must be the same name as the class. So I'm going to name this Java test, and it is case sensitive. Hit save. Now, as you can see, we've got Java test here. But now, computers can't read uh, .java files by default, so what we need to do is we need to compile the file. So, head off down to the Windows thing here, and if you don't have, for Windows, Vista, and 7 users, just simply type cmd and hit enter for the command prompt. If you don't have Windows 7, if you have Windows XP, press Windows, hold the Windows key, and then press R to run, and then write CMD and press OK. But now, as you can see, default command prompt source is in my documents area, so we need to find the location of our Java file, which is on the desktop. So, at the moment, I'm simply going to write CD desktop because the desktop my desktop folder is in my c slash users slash Oliver folder and now we need to compile this file here so we need to, we're gonna write Java C for Java compiler and then space Java test dot Java and then hit enter <laughs> if you didn't get any errors here and as you can see, the Java test dot class has been created, and now we can write Java Java test and hit enter. As you can see, hello world has been printed on the screen. If you don't see hello world, um, something went wrong whilst you installed uh, Java, or you didn't type the program as I did correctly. So if if you did get an error, just double check it's installed correctly and double check that this is typed up correctly. Um, but if you did see Hello World, uh, congratulations, you've set up JDK correctly and you're one step closer to creating your Java programs. Uh, well, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks. Bye.